My friends, welcome back to a new episode of the Borg Collective. Let's continue where we left off last time. We are awaiting this guy to get the hell out of there. However, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to wait at least until he's out of reach. Then we're going to declare war. This is actually quite funny though, I can see, I can see his fleet so clearly. And he has a whopping plus 25 against armor, so he will definitely start tearing through my armor, but he has a 1.1k fleet, so is he that strong? No, no he's not, he's not. Um, let's take a quick look. It will be there shortly. Look at this, look at this army of science ship. You can't tell me there is nothing wrong with that. Now, speaking of which, because I'm, I'm, I'm complete dense, we're going to be making one science over there and one science over there. They will be assisting in the future research because it is quite important. Now, as for now, we're going to be declaring war upon the, uh, what's your name again? The Kravik Imperative. Cool. Simulate, declare war. There you go, we're going to send you in. We know that the territory around it is nice, um, but we actually could not care less. We want to give other empires the opportunity to expand uh, into this territory without me having to worry about it. I've decided that we are going to be keeping the capital planets. Uh, so Kazan, Vaya, uh, Telex, all of these. The rest I don't care much about unless we are getting butthurt on, well, what do you say, population. Because it is sometimes going to be quite, well, hard to place them. Let's take, let's give a quick pause, research speed anomaly, now let's go for the research speed, that's one. Where are you? So, which of the unicomplexes on one, it's probably the hub, will have um, some research, although it is looking like it's going to be more of a industrial planet. But it, do, it does has two science stations in here, so you, assist in the research place. As for you, um, will this be the same? No, you are economy. You are going into houses. So the chances of you becoming research is relatively high. I don't like any of these guys. Let's see, how much money do we have? Yeah, we have plenty. Thank you guys. There you go. And we're going to get rid of... No, these are actually anomaly. What? what? Do I really have to keep going? Give me the one. Genesis told me, Genesis told me that I should keep up. And yes, he is correct. He is correct. There you go. So much money was wasted doing this, but okay, sometimes you can't be efficient. Oh, what I want to do is just level these guys up quietly, not having them worry about anything. Go here, assist to research, there you go. All of these messages don't particularly care. Um, this fight. Apparently their fleet completely backtracked mine. Isn't that bloody lovely? Isn't that just great? They were like, yes we see that fleet. But do we care? No, because they're going straight after my armies. Who are definitely going to have a problem. I'll probably have to let them jump. Um, once this fleet is no longer fighting, and it is almost there. I've been told that you guys don't view this as particularly loud. So let, let's, 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 let's slow down a bit. Let's go to um, F9. So the Borg is fighting. Look at those weapons. Look at those pyramids, the pyramids are quite cool. Look at them just switch, that is great. That is great, let's go here. 
Let's see, you go back, please, before my army gets annihilated. Who is being annihilated, actually. Because I was not really paying attention. Um, go here. Then go there. There. Do that. As for you guys, go here. Are you still fighting? What are you fighting? Oh, they just built a ship. They just built a ship. Okay, now go here, please. And... They are still here. Wow, I was like, where are they? I can't find them. So, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing fine. It is a wonderful day here in the Netherlands. It is sunny. And we like sunny. So, let's see, how are you going? Mm -hmm. At least it will be funny. But at the time, I'm recording this at uh, 7 a.m. Uh, just because I'm so busy during the day that I just want to keep things going. So, uh, with this fleet going there, I, I don't think I'm actually really needing to go after this one. Um, but we'll see. Go here. And land armies. How many armies do you have? Almost none. So, I, I've been talking, I've been talking like on Discord with um, one of the PR guys from Gallius um, AI mod. And he says that uh, playing on AI difficulty hard is probably easier. Uh, he says because the AI will most likely do the stupidest things in order to become aggressive. So that is something. That is uh, definitely something that I want to have into account. Uh, this one is mine for the next series. So let me know in the comment section what the um, most difficult settings are. Uh, reminding you this is on Grand Admiral, scaling is on, I know, with off, it is an instant boost. And with scaling, they'll become stronger over time. Your empire is not just, what are you doing? What, why aren't you attacking that? You are on aggressive, yet you're like, meh. Meh, we don't care. He's just puny. Yeah, he jumped away, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, no, he just didn't jump away. <laughs> they stopped existing. Yes, that gives the Kazan a good, good amount of territory to expand. That is cool. So this fleet is now complete. And this will boost me. There you go. Uh, research speed. So I was thinking resettlement cost, which is great. Administrative caps, just bull. I'm actually considering going for the nanites first. Ship building cost is also very interesting. Army upkeep, building district cost. Maybe that we should finish this one. For, uh, it's only two. But we're going to get the nanite because that was already a problem. So we're at negative three and it will now be boosted up to. Come on, one tick. Please. Sometimes months take so, so long, don't they? Really, there you go, plus 28. It's a bit of a shame, I was hoping for more uh, unity. Uh, the CPM will die out. Uh, apparently we are still at war. Uh, <laughs> but they don't exist anymore. At least I don't believe so. Let's see. You apparently... Oh, we're also at war with Telex. Oh, that is great. I was completely not aware of that. Now, we can go by Via. Um, but personally, I would just like to declare it war on Via as well. Are you in defensive relationships? Hmm. Equivalent. No, they're, not all, they're not that strong. And we will really carve away. And I'm going to let go of the fact just... just Go on opposite borders with the unit complexes. Look, Empire Sprawl. Our administrative cap will always be a problem. That's just I, the gist of it. Otherwise, I have to start using like mods. I don't want to. So, yeah, it will always be a problem. So, for now, let's just send in the fleet up there. Um, the Empire, or actually, our uh, the Talex species only have. Uh, this territory, they, they can probably go in everything, but do we care about that? No, not really. Look at that, that boosted up research somewhat. 
we do want to start focusing a bit more on on the research but this is yeah we need to get rid of more of these districts like more uh, nanite foundries maybe change the research district maybe change where the nanite foundries are in other unit complexes i don't know uh, we'll see it's it's just um not that important <laughs> that's the gist of it um let's go let's see how many planets do you have so we're probably harvesting these two and just taking him so you will go straight straight can we go by here oh that is good to know so we definitely want to start going into this direction as well let's just go let's uh, visit talex it is a new environment for the peoples i do want to get a few more armies going Let's see, who's the strongest? 435. So the Borg are the strongest. Still. So let's make two on each. Uh, because eventually they, they should, in theory, start um, caring about armies as well. I hope. Yeah, still the Borg armies are the strongest. They will adapt the best. And the colonies will let this go over time. Uh, we are going to keep this. Um, this one. Let's demolish you. We don't need you. We need you. Yeah, this won't work because we need normal people to do this. So we're going, going to get rid of everything. Now, what do we need the most? Well, I... I need a governor, that's one thing. We need housing. Let's start with that. Edicts have done. What will this do for my economy? Actually, not as much um, at the moment. Probably next tick. And we are capped out on energy. There you go. Not anymore. Uh, the fleets are on their merry way. Transports are being... Construction ship. Build Starbase, Starbase, Starbase. I will make sure that we don't have to travel in unknown territory. And we are going to get rid of these uh, small pockets of aliens. What is this? Grand Sanction Expansionism? Species um, one, uh, 10, 10, 3, 4, 8. Uh, 1, 0, 3, 4, 8. Intentionally designed as the... Cranium Sanctum has commenced exploration, expansion. I don't know. Kralor. Who the, who the hell's Kralor again? Do I know them? Didn't I kill them? Can't remember. Hmm. Seriously, can't remember. Now a lot of buildings are being made, of course, and uh, that will change a lot for us. Uh, technology, we got new cutting beams, cannon weapon fire or dispersion fields. And this will lead to armor damage plus 5 and shield damage plus 5. Science station output. Yeah, let's just go for these dispersion. We really need to start focusing on uh, research so let us send in uh, the armies as well all of them are now done uh, one two three four five six yes they are go there uh, we're going to make sure we will probably get the entire territory whatever uh, no no we're going to harvest the living hell out of these guys so we definitely want to start Taking them apart slowly. Especially now with our Borg fleet heading towards Talix. And probably... Who are you? We oh. will consider your request. Oh, I've been told to be extremely careful about these. The Vov Telephrasy. Okay, they are... Xenophobic Spiritualist. They have a moving capital ship. 
Holy shit, that looks fucking fancy. Oh, sorry, my, my language there. Sorry, if, sorry about that. Um, but this does look interesting. I would really Your like that. true scales are finally showing. Oh, they're angry. They really don't like me. So what is your arrogance and insolence will cost you dearly, young one? So that ancient species, they, they pretty much hate everyone. And we are okay with that as long as they... Um... Um, we are angered. This unaffected race with our actions. So they don't like me. Which is at the moment fine by me. We'll just have to see how we can deal with all of that. Uh, especially this is dangerous territory now. Deep space. But the Voth have made their appearance. Okay, it's only two more jumps. We're going to take care of all of the stations. And then we'll send in the harvesters. And we'll get more population. <laughs> as intended. As intended. Uh, transports are well on the way. Yeah, we're all aggressive. So, two wars, one episode. Two capital planets on its knees. Yeah, that doesn't sound much better. We could settle status quo, but do we actually want to? Are we interested as the Borg in status quo? I don't know. There is some... Um, some interesting territory over here. Now... In this series, yes, the sprawl, the sprawl, the Empire Cap will be destroyed. Yes, um, we, I'm, I'm thinking perhaps like I am going to be changing my ideas or changing my plans and just try to conquer as much territory as possible. It will bite me in the ass. That's <laughs> a definite possibility. It's the only possibility. It. I hate it when this happens. You are on aggressive. How could you not attack the station? Look, it has plus on shield damage, so it, it probably is not going to do as much. But take down the station. This is a great moving forward position. Now we have to be careful with our uh, starbase capacity. We'll have to change those. We'll have to spread them out. Now this will over time climb. Um... I don't actually know the math, but it does have something to do... Look, extending your starbase capacity will cause your starbase to have an increased upkeep cost. The starbase capacity is increased by the number of population and owned systems. So, it is definitely important. Now, this one is now ours. What is in it? Completely nothing. There you go. We'll keep it for now. Let's go over to Telex. Uh, but we're going to dial you down, definitely. It's just bullshit to keeping that. It has no other value. And I'll worry about this off camera. We got a, um, a good amount of minerals now, so I could do a lot more than I uh, usually can. Let's see, what kind of fleet are you having? Wow, that is absolutely tiny. Um, they're definitely somewhat balanced. Using um, photon torpedoes and uh, that, that's armor and phaser turrets. Yeah, they're fleeing as well, so they're trying to build up a fleet somewhere. There's actually two planets in here by the looks of it. Uh, we have its moon, where uh, Mr. Neelix came from. He was on the moon fighting a war when Telex got destroyed. That's his story. It is cool. So we're going to take Telox and we're going to harvest the moon. There's 13 population on there and... Seriously? There's more? 29. 13. Which is fine. So take down everything that is there. And we'll see what the other species will do. Uh, there is a... Massive pop, um, massive chance that they will declare war on me. If that happens, um, it's going to be well damage control. Um, we probably are not able to defeat them. 
But let's extend into their territory for a great deal. Hopefully they will attack. Let's see, all of these stations need to go. There you go. That should keep him working and occupied for the time being. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I know I am. Um, yes, there's a big change in my plans. Um, I was going to do, like, small pocket hits from there to here. There's the Dominion. Oh, they're equivalent. Oh, that is so cool. I like that. And look at this, they are now part of the Federation. No, they're part of a coalition. Not the Federation yet. Ooh. Has a coalition association. So it is associated with the Federation. Can't wait until we meet all of them. I can't wait. Uh, I can't. Absolutely. Fighting the Dominion is um, one of the suggestions in the comment section and fighting uh, the UFP, the United Federation of Planets, is definitely the other. So looking very much forward to that. As for now, thank you so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe or join me on Discord. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.